Thank you. Where, where is, where's your head, where does your head go first when you think about this team and your accomplishments? Wow. Um, <clears throat> a lot of places. Um, just because when you're when you're part of championship teams, there's there's certain attributes, certain traits um, that all of them have, and toughness is at the top of the list. I mean, a, a talent. You got to have that. You got to have the. You got to have the dudes. It's all about the players. Um, but everybody's got talent now. Um, the separator is is the toughness piece of it, and and just the unwillingness to waver um, from a process of just showing up and having a job to do. Um, and when the outside external factors are telling you you're great, can you show up and do it the next day? When they're telling you you're terrible, can you show up and do it the next day? Um, and it just there's a lot of a lot of memories come flooding back of of, of being part of dog piles as a player um you know winning championships as a coach I, i'm not sure i've ever um been around a group of young men quite like these um and and just how absolutely um resilient they are i mean that's the word to, to, to describe this group and and how tough they are how much they love each other uh, how much they have each other's back um and, and there's, you know, they got to get challenged along the way too. And that, that's our job as coaches is to challenge them when they need it. We got to put our arms around them when they need it. Um, and the best teams are player led. I've said that time and time again, and that, that's been a trait here of late from this group. We've had some guys emerge with voices and their play has really, um, you know, backed that up as well. Um, speaking of uh, Josh, Karen and some other guys, but Josh in particular, um, I'd like to just make a special mention to him. I mean, what a what an absolute performance that he put on in this tournament. Um, I told him last night, I, I saw Dan Johnson hit five home runs in a, in a conference tournament before uh, to lead a, uh, to a, a Big 12 tournament championship. I've never seen six, so he may as well go get six. And sure enough, he did it. And But I guess, you know, his play was awesome. Um, but how he's been so selfless with the pitching staff this year. Um, he's been an offensive-minded guy the first two years. This year it's been all about how he can help the pitching staff, what kind of energy and toughness he can bring for those guys. And, and here of late, just it's challenging the group of position players to just rise to the occasion and um, just go compete and grind. And um, he, he led from the front that way um, all week for this team. In this game, I mean, it, it was after the first time through the order. I just I called the team up. I said, "Hey, let's just take a deep breath. We're in the fight right now. You know, we're not we're not on the barrel, but you know, we're just a couple of plays away." Um, and thank goodness for Jackson Brockett. I mean, he he was amazing. He allowed us to to have a chance to win that game. He he played great. We played great defense behind him. Um, but yeah, that looked like there were a couple moments that passed us by early in that game where we just we had a chance to take an extra base, maybe here and there and didn't do it ended up costing us but uh you know it just in that game I, I felt like our guys were they they were right where they needed to be in terms of their intensity and everything else I usually leave it alone when it comes to that um so we just the game played itself out and and uh dudes were dudes today well, yeah, I mean, I, I challenged them pretty good after the first game and, and uh, you know, just said, you know, we were, you know, we just didn't, we didn't play the brand of baseball that, that we showed up here to play. And, um, you know, it, and again, you give Ohio State credit on that day because they, they kicked our butts. However, um, I can deal with a loss if I feel like we're, we're competing, you know, to the best of our abilities and, you know, we're never going to be accepting of anything less than that. <clears throat> and really, it's, it's accepting the challenge of the intensity that it takes to win. Um, we turned that down the first day. I, I will I will be the first to say that. We turned that down as a group, and we had a conversation um, as a team about that. Um, I told them, hey, we can go back and practice and hope that we get in the tournament. I think I think we had done enough to get in the NCAA tournament, but it was just kind of a wake-up call to say, we can go back and practice, or we can stay here and, and, and play baseball every day. You know, the choice is ours. Um, and when I speak about Josh Karen, I think he he had some some words for the group that that helped propel the team. Um, again, every great team has that. You've got to have those the guys that that are willing to put themselves out there and hold everybody to a high standard. And you know, some guys are, are afraid to do it. They don't want to hurt people's feelings, or um, you know, they feel like, well, I can't say anything because 
you know, I'm not doing as well as I need to do. And he just said, I'm, I'm here for it. And so I think he had some words for the group and he challenged the group and um, he took all the pressure off himself when he did that. It's funny how that works. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's everything. I, I tell our guys that all the time is the reason that I coach is to, to be able to see them have the joy on their face, the, the dog piles, um, hoisting the trophy. Um, it's it's so much less about winning, you know, when it comes down to, um, you know, the rest of your life. It's it's the trophies come and go. The rings get put away. Uh, it's the memories that you make. And it's it's the, the attitude and mindset that you never forget that you have to have to be a champion. I mean, and that's those are the things I'm proud of with this group. Um, it was it was incredibly impressive for Husker Nation to show up the way that they did. Knew that they would. Um, 10 a.m. game, short notice, 13,000 plus, I believe I read. Um, and we didn't give them a lot to cheer about for a lot of the game. Now Jackson Brockett did, and our defense did. Uh, but they were loud. They were into it. And I can certain I can say with 100% certainty that they were a big di uh, difference maker in that game for us. There was no question. And we had talked about every scenario um, you could talk about. And most of them involved a few other pitchers after Brockett and the bridge to get to Brett Sears. Um, <clears throat> but there was, there was no doubt that if we got to the ninth inning with a lead, Sears was the guy um, that was going to go finish it out for us. Yeah. Yeah. You, you found out you find out a lot about your team every game that you play, um, and the fact that we were able to stay here and play a lot of different types of games this week. Um, we have some guys that got really hot at the plate. We have um, pitchers that got hot. I mean, that's what it takes to win in the postseason. I mean, you have to have heroic performances from guys that you don't expect them from necessarily. Um, <clears throat> but I will say, you know, Jackson Brockett. I mean, he's a junior. He's a dude now. I mean, he's been a dude the back half of this year for us. And again, nobody's perfect. I'm proud of him for, for being resilient after that first inning, after the first outing of the tournament. Um, he was great. And, and just every every single guy and what they were able to provide the team throughout the week, they draw from that and take it into preparation. When we figure out where we're going to go, whether we get on a bus or a plane, we're going to take those experiences with us and that confidence with us um, you know, into a regional. It, there wasn't much of a conversation. I mean, we, we talked about it, Coach Childress and I, over the phone last night in the hotel as we all kind of went our separate ways and went back to our families. And um, we kind of walked, walked through it and, and said, you know, Brockett's the guy, right? And we kind of just wanted to reaffirm that he was the guy. Um, <clears throat> there were a couple of other choices, but I think Brockett was the, was the guy. I think it was a good matchup um, with their left-handed hitters. And he has gonna, was going to pitch with a chip on his shoulder today to bounce back. Um, so it, it was pretty much once we made that decision, um, it, it was, OK, well, we'll let Brockett know. And, and I think he was expecting it. I think he was ready for it. Um, and like I said, couldn't be prouder of him. Can you talk about games today, just what you saw from his performances this week? Yeah, I mean, a 3-2 breaking ball. Um, <laughs> You've got to be moving right um, in the box. You've got to have the right mindset. And you've got to battle um, the best swing of the year. I mean, no other way to put it, right? I mean, split a gap uh, and just to just stick with it the way that he has and, and the tournament that he's had. Um, it's pretty impossible almost to look at his statistics and think that, you know, he wouldn't be the MVP. And that's how good Josh Karen was, you know, in this tournament. Um, so couldn't have won it without either one of those guys, that's for sure. Gabe Swanson's a dude, though, again. And he, he hasn't um, had the year that he's wanted to have, but he got to the point of the season where he said, the team needs me now, and, and he stepped up for us. I was trying to have a slow heartbeat. I mean, that was, that was my vantage point. Um, uh, again, you, you go back to the two-out single, looked harmless at the time. Um, you got to take your four-hole hitter out of the game and put a pinch runner in there. Um, and so Brumball comes off the bench, steals a base to set it up. He would have scored on the double anyway, but it put more pressure on them to make pitches with runners at scoring position. So um, it was a huge moment. The crowd, 
again, for Gabe to be able to control his heartbeat and in the box in that moment, in that situation, and not let it get too big um, with how loud the crowd was in that situation. Um, kudos to him. But certainly, it, I think it affected their guy um, in, a, in a positive way for the Huskers. <clears throat> I love this place. I mean, it's I've I've poured most of my adult life into the University of Nebraska, and it's it's it means everything. I mean, uh, you know, family, faith, and and baseball. That's kind of what I know. Um, and I got a lot of people around me that have supported me through uh, the ups and downs. Um, and you know, I've got I've got a lot of a great assistant coaches and and s support staff and. Um, administrators that, that have our backs and and um, this is a total team effort I mean it, it's it's not about me it's about the guys it's about the university um, I'm, I'm happy to to be part of another championship team that's for sure um, it's a story I'll tell for a long time um, but the story the book's not it's not done being written this year though so I'm, I'm thrilled with this championship and, and ready for more that's the way my brain works <clears throat> Yeah, and he was one of the you – know, I distinctly remember what he told the team after the game is if anybody in this tournament's built to come back out of the loser's bracket, it's us with the pitching depth that we have. Um, and, again, it, it's just – it's having a steady hand there that, that we can um, have those conversations and those tense moments where – we got to make decisions and um you know i lean on him a lot because you know he's been a head coach for 16 years before he came here um he's as selfless a human being as i've ever met um he's the reason i came to nebraska in the first place um pretty well documented there but yeah i mean he he's he's meant a lot because he just he's very very uh, confident and, and just convicted and about what he does and that really it, it just permeates through his pitchers the way that they pitch the way that they attack and um, he said it's not a goal to, to lead the, the Big Ten in fewest walks per nine innings. That's what we're going to do. That's what he said. That's what he told him. And, you know, it, it comes to fruition. And you, if you make the other team beat you by not giving up free passes, um, you know, you, you got to have a chance to win championships. So, um, you know, Rob has been um, – he's, he's my mentor in the game. Um, we've won a lot of conference championships together um, and couldn't have done it without him. Lance Harvell, Mike Sirianni, Connor Behrens. Um, my GAs, you know, Gunnar Hellstrom and Caleb Feekin, strength coach Bryce Sieko. I mean, I can go on and on. A lot of, a lot of guys have, have really contributed uh, to this championship. How does winning so many winner go home games here <clears throat> Yeah, you get your back up against the wall. Um, and I told the team before the, the tournament started, um, you get one hiccup in each tournament, and that's it. That's all you get. You just get one. So we only we only had one in this one and, and won a tournament. Um, you only get one next weekend. Um, and, you know, it, 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 once you get to the postseason, it's five wins to Omaha. Um, so uh, kind of that, that carrot dangled out there for this group. You have 13,000 people here for – for this game, imagine what it's like um, getting Nebraska to, to this venue um, for the College World Series. It's five wins away. You know, it, it can seem like this this far-reaching thing, um, but you get you get your foot in the door in the regionals, it, it's five wins to get to Omaha. And um, it's hard. It's tough. It's tough to do it. But you gotta you gotta talk about it and, and you've gotta you gotta be able to visualize that. And having our backs up against the wall, we'll we'll have some resilience going into to next week. Thanks, Coach. Yep. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>